welcome to today's devotion where we continue to look at some of the themes that come out of our motto text, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction and faithful in prayer. I wonder if I were to ask you on a scale of one to 10, how patient you are, what your answer would be. I guess if we're honest, we know that we all display this quality in different areas and we're not completely consistent. Well, the new year didn't get off to a good start in the Baker household with a pipe leak in our lower ground floor bathroom, which was under the ceramic tiles. It caused significant damage to other rooms. But you know, the hardest part and the one that required patience was the wait for the leak detection specialist as we continued to mop up lots of water for over a week whilst being anxious about the damage that was going on under the surface. Now, that's an example of an everyday domestic situation that requires patience, which is trivial in comparison with some of the more painful trials and difficulties of life that require perseverance. The word used by Paul for affliction probably referred directly to persecution that Christians were experiencing in the church at Rome. But it can also be more widely applied to include suffering, distress and tribulation. These sap our energy, fill our mind with many questions and involve hours of wrestling in prayer as we call on God to sustain us during the challenge. But times of affliction are the best opportunities in which to exercise patience. Those times when there's no easy way out and when things just don't make sense. We learn to trust God's ways and not our own and accept that each day is monitored by the hand of love, which only has good at its heart. There was no one who knew more about affliction than Job. And the New Testament writer James reminds us of the blessing experienced by those who are patient and keep going under trial. He says, as you know, we count as blessed those who have persevered. You have heard of Job's perseverance and have seen what the Lord finally brought about. In our culture, where our expectations are geared towards an instant fix, and an immediate supply of all that we want. Affliction can teach us to trust God for his timing and keep us faithful in prayer. It also enables us to let go of the control that we all like to have and submit to the only one who is best placed to direct and order our lives. But as we all know, these times hurt and they cause heartache and tears. And that's when we need to remember the resources that we have to face each day and to patiently wait for deliverance, whether it's in this life or the one to come. So let's be praying for the development of this beautiful quality in each other. We may need it big time as we wait for this pandemic to be brought under control or for our turn to get the vaccination, or to see us through an illness, or a difficulty in a relationship. We may be knowing persecution because of our faith, and be in an environment that is hostile to our belief in Jesus. Keep going, says Paul, and keep bathing your lives in prayer, and looking to a hope that gives an eternal perspective. As C.S. Lewis said, think of yourself just as a seed, patiently waiting in the earth, waiting to come up a flower in the gardener's good time.